definitely these are way cheaper so hopefully they work just as good but we shall see <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be trying out and reviewing some foil HCV from Dollar Tree. So I have tried out their regular HCV and glitter HCV. I did do a review on those, so if you're curious, definitely go check that video out. But this time around, I'm just going to be focusing on the foil HTV. So foil HTV is pretty much metallic HTV. It has like a mirror finish. So it's definitely one of those more fancier HTVs. So as of now, the only HTVs that I've seen Dollar Tree carry are these foil HTVs, the glitter HTVs, and then the regular HTVs. Hopefully they come out with more fancier HTVs like maybe holographic or like glow in the dark, you know. But for now, these are the only ones that they have. And I do have them in three colors. So I have the gold, rose gold, and then blue. I do believe these are the only three colors that they carry because I checked online and these were the only three options so I'm assuming that they only have these three for now so since these are from Dollar Tree obviously they're a dollar 25 so for that you get a 12 by 12 inch sheet honestly I feel like that's super cheap because other brands for this type of finish they tend to be over like three dollars so compare a dollar 25 to let's say 325 that's definitely a big difference because you have a two dollar jump right there so definitely these are way cheaper so hopefully they work just as good but we shall see I am gonna give these a wash test so if you're curious to hear my thoughts on these HCVs from Dollar Tree then let's get started here we have the HTVs we have gold rose gold and blue so starting off with the gold one right here on the top this one just looks a little bit damaged you just straight up see fingerprints scratches just a lot going on obviously it's just the carrier sheet but we shall see so now for the adhesive side this one looks pretty plain but there is some design going on can you see it has some like diagonal stripes and then you can just see some vertical lines as well so it's definitely not plain like other HTVs are so we'll see if that makes a difference and now the rose gold one this one looks less damaged than the gold one it still has some scratches going on but it's not as dirty as the gold one and then for the adhesive side this one has a different pattern than the gold one this one just has a few lines going vertically so it's definitely not the same design as the gold one and then you can see some of the HTV just lifting up from their carrier sheet itself so hopefully that doesn't cause a problem now for the blue one this one is the same thing as the other ones just straight up scratched up dirty and this one I will say is definitely much more damaged than the other two because I'm not sure if you can tell but there's some sort of brown powder going on in there like it's the HTV the powder and then the carrier sheet just got I guess glued on there so I don't know what's gonna happen with that i'm gonna try to cut around that because i do not want that on my shirt but yeah this is the top side and then the adhesive side this one is plain just like the rose gold one and then can you see it's damaged right there so this section right here is where that little brown powder is at so it just created a little bump but it's definitely damaged right there it just i don't know it looks like the adhesive part on that section just straight up got scraped off which is funny and then right here you have a little bubble going on and yeah you can see a speck of that brown powders right there so i have no idea what that brown powder is but come on quality control because uh-uh we don't want that so here we have the three htvs now let's get started with the cutting here is a design that i'm going to use so each layer is going to be a different htv and i'm going to use a black background just so everything can stand out so i'm going to go ahead and send these to cut and i'm going to use the metallic iron on mosaic cut setting and i made sure to do a test cut before cutting everything because in my previous dollar tree htv video the cut settings completely failed me so this time i made sure to test it out beforehand and now that they're all cut, let's just go ahead and start the weeding. So starting off with the rose gold one. Let's see if I chose the correct settings. So moment of truth. Wait. Oh my God, it did not cut. Let's see. Okay, so not bad. Maybe just the little small pieces. You have to be careful. But so far, so good. It's pulling easily. Wow, so definitely a way easier than the previous Dollar Tree video that I did because this just pulled off easily. But I will say this foil does feel way thicker than other foil HTV that I'm used to. This feels like it's double the size. It's definitely not stretchy whatsoever. Look, you can't even pull on it. It just straight up rips. You know how with HTV some you pull it and it has some stretch to it? This one just straight up doesn't at all. So that's kind of interesting to have something like this on a garment, you know? Cause like, let's say you have it on a shirt and it doesn't even want to stretch at all. That's not really a good thing, but at least it weeded easily. So let's just move on to the other colors. Now here we have the blue one. So 
this one is definitely easy as well just pulling it and it's coming right off this one didn't have the issue like the pink one where that little section lifted so thank god for that so for sure this was easy to weed as well last but not least we have the gold obviously i went ahead and saved some space and just put them all together and not separated so let's go ahead and weed and look at that easy as well so thank god i played around with the settings because i feel like if i would have used a different one maybe like the regular iron on it wouldn't have worked so i'm glad i went ahead and actually figured out what cut setting to use so after weeding everything, I realized that my blue layer looked a little bit different than my pink one. Come to realize I must have weeded it a little too hard because a few of the pieces actually lifted with the HTV that I weeded out. So be mindful, don't weed this HTV too fast. Pay attention to what you're doing. If not, you're gonna have to do what I'm doing and try to piece it back together. And here are all three once again. Like I mentioned, these were super easy to weed and that's super surprising because usually when it comes to fancier HTVs, it tends to be a little bit harder. It's not as easy as regular HTV. So the fact that these were foils and they weeded that easily is very very surprising but i'm glad that they weeded easily but the only downside i would say that they're very very thick in comparison to the metallic htvs that i'm used to so that could either be a hit or a miss because these do not stretch whatsoever so we shall see how that works out so now that we have these ready let's just go ahead and get to pressing and for this i'm going to use the canvas tote so i'm going to go ahead and put it on a pressing mat and then prep it so i'm going to use a lint roller to get rid of any dirt and then just preheat it so i'm going to go ahead and start with my black background layer and this one is just Caesar Easy Weed, so I'm just going to go ahead and press it for a few seconds. And I have my Cricut Easy Press at 305 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's just go ahead and peel this layer. Clearly that middle didn't press, but that's fine. I'm just going to go over it again just because that little middle section didn't press. So let's just go ahead and do it. And I forgot to mention that I'm using a Teflon sheet to protect the HTV. And now let's just go in with the foil HTVs. Since all of these are in different sections of the graphic, I'm just gonna go ahead and place them all at the same time and press, just to save some time. So as you can see, these clearly don't wanna stick on their own, cause I guess the carrier sheet is not sticky at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have to go in with some Teflon tape, just so it could actually stick. So the tape definitely helped. I just hate the fact that it's not sticking on its own, you know? Cause the tape could only do so much. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly try to do the other one so this one doesn't lift on its own. And for these little ones, I didn't even bother to put tape because they can just hang out on their own, you know? And now that all the layers are ready, I'm just gonna go ahead and press. And honestly, the instructions did not even have a set temperature on what to use. It just said to use the cotton linen setting on your iron. So I have no idea what actual temperature I should use for this, but I'm just gonna go with the one that's pretty universal all around and I'm just gonna do 305 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're gonna see how that works out. And this does say to press for 25 to 30 seconds, but I'm gonna do 15 seconds for now because I wanna peel off the carrier tree and then press again since it is different layers, you know? So these are a cold peel, so I'm just it's gonna let them hang out for a little bit and then I'm gonna come back when they're cool to peel. And to speed up the process, I'm gonna use my cooling block. So let me go ahead and try peeling. Okay, so, so far so good. So the gold ones are doing good. Now time for the actual butterflies. Let's do the rose gold. Okay, so that actually looks really, really pretty. Let's do the blue. So the blue definitely looks super pretty as well. And like I mentioned, I do want to go in by pressing it again since it is a higher pressing time. But I will say when it comes to foil HTVs, when you go in with the Teflon sheet, you might lose that smoothness of the foil, but I always like to go in a second time, you know, to press. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Now moment of truth to see if I got that texture from the Teflon, let's see. Okay, not really. So that's good. It didn't really give it a texture. So the instructions on the box say to flip the material over and press the back. So I'm going to do that, but I don't want to get this texture. So I'm just going to put the Teflon sheet on here. Then I'm going to press. So I'm just going to press it for a few seconds. I didn't even do the countdown for this one, but that's good enough. See, luckily it didn't give it any texture. So, so far so good. 
So here it is up close. I don't want to run my fingers through it because with these type of HCVs, any little touch and your fingerprint is going to show. So I'm not even going to run my fingers through it. But everything seems to be on there. You can't really see if anything is lifting. And the foil actually looks really nice. I did think looking at it like really closely, I did think that the Teflon sheet maybe gave it some sort of texture. Because if you really look at it close, it kind of has like a very sandpapery design like look to it. Like it's not textured or anything, but it just kind of looks like it's grainy but then I took a look at what I weeded and it's literally the exact same so the texture or like the graininess of it is already there so that Teflon definitely didn't do anything to it so so far so good it looks pretty and as I do with all of my HTV reviews I do want to give this a wash test just to see if it survives or not so I'm gonna let this sit for 24 hours and then I'm gonna turn it inside out throw it into the wash let it air dry and then we're gonna come back to see if this survived or not here it is after it's been washed and air dried so once I let it dry, I thought the toe looked a little too wrinkled. So I went ahead, turned it inside out, and then steamed it. And obviously, I don't know if you could tell, but that was such a mistake because of the Black HTV wrinkled on me. So I totally failed by doing that, but it is what it is. But as you can see, even though it did mess up the regular HTV, the foil HTV is still going strong. So that's definitely a good thing because look at it. No wrinkles on any of them. So even though I messed up, it did not ruin the foil HTV, so it's all good. But besides that, everything still feels like it's on there. I will say though, these little star edges, some of them are lifting. So we have that little edge right there. And then over here too, just the little corners are lifting. But overall, I will say for the most part, they're like actually on there and survive the wash. So that's definitely a good thing and for sure, two thumbs up. And here it is once again. Honestly, I was super surprised with the way these worked out. I really thought these were gonna be much, much harder to work with than the regular and glitter HTVs. Cause if you saw that video, I did kind of struggle with those. So the fact that this is more of a fancier HTV and it was easier to work with was like something I was not expecting. Like these cut very nicely. Luckily I figured out what cut setting to use and it wasn't even hard. I tried it on the first time and it worked out. So that's good. They weeded super easily. Obviously be careful when you're pulling because you don't want to pull off your design. I kind of feel like that was my Cricut's fault cause it didn't cut all the way through, you know, but either way, be careful but it was definitely easier to weed especially for a fancier HTV the effect on this is super pretty it's just like straight up mirrored hopefully you can catch it on camera but it's just a super pretty effect like the way it catches the light and you just if you look at it you can straight up see yourself it's a mirror like even though it's colored you could just see yourself but I just like the effects it gives when you like hit it a certain way with light you know so I really really like the effect but I do have some downsides so as you saw I was smart enough to steam this I did steam it inside out but still I feel like that was the cause of my easy weed shrinking in the bottom but the fact that that shrunk this metal HCV didn't shrink so that's a good thing so that kind of tells me that these actually do survive if they're on another HCV you know if they're like layered because even though these are layered they're still on there and then these right here the ones that aren't layered are kind of lifting a little bit but I feel like when it comes to small graphics like this especially stars that are pointy they kind of tend to want to lift at the edges so there we have this one lifting and then over here as well they're not completely up but there's still you could tell there's some lifting going on and also like I mentioned this HTV is just straight up thick so this is a tote right here so I can't even imagine how it would be on a shirt like I would not do a big old graphic let's say a happy face you know how a happy face most of it is going to be the actual HTV I would not put this HTV on let's say a happy face and then put it on a shirt because that's going to be super stiff it's not going to stretch at all so definitely when it comes to this type of HTV I'm just going to keep it for like let's say totes backpacks a canvas just something that I'm not going to actually wear maybe like a hat because a hat isn't really gonna stretch you know but when it comes to like a t-shirt or let's say some sweats or something like that I feel like it's thick and it's not really gonna work out because you run your fingers through it like through the inside and this you just straight up feel like there's something there and usually when it comes to other HTVs you could feel that something is there but it doesn't really have that weight to it you know so definitely keep that in mind when it comes to you doing a project with this type of HTV like it has a very pretty effect it weeds easily it washes nicely if it's like layered onto another HTV at least the Caesar HCV. Don't mind my wrinkles. That was totally my fault. But yeah, just be mindful of where you're going to put it because obviously you're going to have that weight to it and you don't want to be wearing a shirt that just feels super heavy and you just have like the design hanging off because it's just so heavy and it doesn't drape nicely, you know? So definitely keep that in mind. But other than that, I'm definitely super impressed with these foil HCVs from Dollar Tree. Out of all three that I've tried out, the foil HCV, the glitter, and the regular Easy Weed, I feel like the one that I like the most might have to be this one because I didn't really have issues with this one. Let's pretend 
content you already saw my other Dollar Tree review. I'm just gonna say it right here. So the regular Easy Weed, that one I feel like it felt a little too thick for it being regular Easy Weed and I did not know the cut settings for that one. So that's why I wouldn't choose that one. And then the Glitter HCV, that one was actually really nice. But the only thing is that the glitter kind of actually does start to fall off after washing it multiple times. Because the shirt that I did for that, I use it to sleep and I wash it constantly and you can tell when I get the shirt it has like little specks of glitter going on. So even though I like the glitter one, it just, the glitters are coming off. And with this one, even though it is a little bit thick, I feel like the effect of it is just so cool. It's just straight up a mirror. It looks pretty when it hits the light. It is a little too thick for my liking, but I just know not to use this for like an actual garment, you know? But overall, I'm super impressed with this HTV. Definitely check it out if you're curious. I'm hoping Dollar Tree comes out with other HTVs or other crafts because like their whole crafting corner is just getting bigger and bigger. So we shall see because I always have fun doing these little reviews, you know? So hopefully you enjoyed this little review on these foil HTVs. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me your thoughts in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. And yeah, I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.